Welcome to Scenes from Ahead. Is everybody ready to have a good time? All right. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scenes from a Hat, the Minnesota comedy improv show featuring all, you guessed it, Minnesota talent. Why don't we say hello to them right this minute? In chair number one, we have the lovely Lauren Kincaid. In number two, we have the devilishly handsome Kenton oh my Holman. God. <laughs> In chair number three, we have the devil himself, Victor Littlejohn. Hey, you looking at me? And in chair number four, we have the daughter of the devil, Sally Ann Hunt. <laughs> and incidentally, we need to have a special round of applause. This is 13-year-old Sally Hunt's very first full episode here. Yay, Sally, 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 Sally. Sally. <laughs> We are an equal opportunity, send every player to hell on Scenes from a Hat. <laughs> so, before we get started, we need to warm everybody up with a little game we like to call Questions Only. So why don't we have everybody Woo! line up and we're going to play this little game. Questions Only is played and where our players enact a simple scene speaking only in questions if they would happen to make a mistake. They will hear this little buzzing noise, they will go to the back of the line, and the new player coming into the scene will have the next question. But before we can get started, how about a situation from our studio audience as to where these people might be? Bowling alley. At a bowling alley, an excellent suggestion. This is the bowling alley questions only. Take it away. Did you bring the rosin? What's rosin? Don't you know how to bowl? Yeah, with safety pins. <laughs> is that where the food is? Uh, it's by the vending machines, yeah. <laughs> Are you allowed to bowl? Do I look like I'm allowed to bowl? Are you of age? Don't you think my mom paid for me to come in here? You don't look like you're over five. <laughs> no, that's me. Yeah, yeah that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what weight ball do you use? I think this is a five. Uh, oh. What weight ball do you use? <laughs> what weight ball do you have? Can't you see what weight ball I have? <laughs> Looks like a 16 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting dangerous. Do you like balls? <laughs> what kind? Where are your balls? Where's my car? <laughs> Why do you want to leave? Do I look like I want to leave? Are you uncomfortable? Are you insane? <laughs> Are you hotly turned on? Are you a, a lady of the night? Do you have money? How much? <laughs> and see! <laughs> 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 Scenes from a Hat would like to publicly apologize to <laughs> Sally's from mom a for having her appear in this particular episode. This is Changing Lines. We're going to play a game of Changing Lines. Let's have Lauren and Victor. Why don't you come Ooh, baby. front and center here for a game of Changing Lines. Now, the way that Changing Lines is played is so we have a simple scene, but whenever I say change, the person who spoke the last line will have to change it, and hopefully it will be something zanier and funnier and comic hilarity will ensue, or the scene will just implode and it will be completely my fault. So, what is the <laughs> simple scene His that they fault. are enacting for us today? A drive-through wedding chapel. Yet another suggestion that has never been done on this show before. I love it. Let's take it away. Changing lines. Oh, honey, I'm so excited. Getting married in Vegas has always been my dream. What's your name again? <laughs> you forgot my name already? Yeah, kinda. Change. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not good at names. Change. Yeah, I don't care what your name is. You're hot. <laughs> Thank you. I thought the same about you. Oh. That bar was uh, really crowded, too. I'm glad we got out of there when we did. Change. I'm glad we could, I'm sorry we couldn't have stayed a little longer because the bar was really hot and I like hot. Change. I hate hot places except for when it's around a person like yourself. Kind of. Oh, what, do say more. What's your name again? Good. What? Oh, your what? last name. Your last you name. You just got it tattooed on your butt cheek. Change. You just had it engraved in your forehead. Change. You just had your whole body tattooed, wrapped in gold in my name. Is that why I got fingerprinted? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's part for the course, right? Well, usually you're right. Yeah. Oh, and see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and <laughs> let's see how this works out. Come on, Kenton and Sally Ann, come on down here. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. On <laughs> and what is the simple scene that uh, Kenton and Sally Ann will be enacting today? Farmer's market. Pet store. Miniature the golf. swimming instructors. That's the Who's the swimming instructor? I think the farmer's market has less opportunity for us to get into huge trouble. You'd be so good I, now. Think, I think You'd we'll be good. Uh, we'll do the farmer's market here. Farmer's market changing lines. Take it away. Is this from your farm? Oh no, this is from my parents' farm. Change. Oh, of course this is from my farm. Change. No, I just found it on the street. <laughs> oh. Well, do you have anything that's been imported from Peru? Where the heck is Peru? Um, it's South America. That's usually where I like to get my uh, chilies from. Change. That's usually where I, I like to find um, the papayas. Change. <laughs> That's where I wanted to go someday so that I could climb to the Matsu Pitsu. <laughs> is, that a, is that a pasta? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it kind of sounds like one, doesn't it? Change. Uh, no, it's not a, a pasta. It's a place where the Incans lived. Change. Um, it could be. Mm. I really like pasta. You know, I wish they sold pasta at the farmer's market. Well, but you can't grow pasta. Change. Yeah, but pasta's not really like a vegetable. Change. Yeah, well, you plant pasta and grow it, and you can sell it at the farmer's market. <laughs> that's see. That's, that's Kenton being PG. <laughs> yeah, that was wow. Funny. That was we hard We actually to do. got out of that relatively unscathed. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, grab a new or scene G. You or G. out of the hat. <laughs> All right, this is Party Quirks, everybody. Woo! Brand new game here on Scenes from a Hat. Party Quirks. And the way that this game is played is Victor, as the host of the party, will have to guess the various quirks that have been randomly assigned to our players. He does not know what they are. And we will see if he can guess who they are based on their comic abilities. So, as soon as we get the doorbell noise ready, is, is your uh, your party well, underway? Well, I, I got I'm getting I got the drinks, uh, I got chips, uh, I got the you got a hidden Motown alcohol. On the stereo there. Yep, I got got the music all ready to go here. Um, I just need guests. That's all I need. Oh wait, there's my first guest now. <laughs> Can you direct me to the bar? Uh, well, I have the alcohol hidden underneath the table because Hi. we might have children here today. I would like a uh, martini. Stirred, not... Wait, shaken? No. Yes. I stirred. Yeah. No. Okay, well, uh, why don't you help yourself to the, <laughs> to the gin and olives Thank right you. over there, and uh, hopefully some more guests <sighs> will come soon. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Thank you. Do yeah. you have some fish? Well, come on in. Well, we'll we, I, I didn't get any fish specifically, but I... Um, I could probably rustle some up when I get out to the kitchen. Um, is that all you eat is fish? Or, uh, oh, no. No, no, no. I eat lots of stuff. It's just that I really like fish. Okay, well, why don't you um, go uh, hang out with Mr. Bond for a moment? Yeah! And, uh, and then I'll go in the kitchen and try and find some fish after I let this guest in. Hi. Hello. Hello. And have you seen any of the action? Well, actually, the action has just started to happen, and um, it uh, is yes. where, where, well, right over there by where the chips and the soda is. Do you want chips? 
We're gonna yeah. we're gonna go ahead and get the music going for you guys. And so maybe I'm we do here a where dancing. the action is. Mm -hmm. I am. All right. I don't see it though. You don't see. Well, let me let me turn the stereo on, and uh, maybe we can get a little action going that way. No, still no action, Dave. <laughs> do you have some rice and maybe some seaweed? Some rice and some seaweed. Um, I'll go back to the kitchen and look and see if I can find any. Um, Japanese sushi lover. <laughs> there we go, sushi. Very they good. Don't, they right. don't even have good food, Dave. Well, are, let me open your window. Hey, are pop, you? Pop, 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 pop. I see it. I got it. Back to you at the newsroom. We the that, eagle has landed. You didn't even interview me, field reporter. <laughs> Very good. Pop, Helicopter pop, pop, pop. Helicopter traffic controller <laughs> reporter. <laughs> very good. That was our very first party, Quirks. Nice job, everybody. Give them a hand. Yeah. All right, and this is going to be Superheroes. Superheroes, Woo! another very, very fun game oh, here shit, on hero Scenes from a Hat. And uh, Victor, why don't you come down and be our lead superhero, and the rest of our superheroes can stand up and stand in front of the stage. They will be entering in chair order and they will all be trying to solve a worldwide crisis which the studio audience will give us now. What are they trying to solve? No cream cheese left in the world. No cream cheese left in the world. That's a catastrophe. Bagel stores will be closing by the thousands. And how about our superhero here? What is his name? Let's get a good superhero name there for Victor. Insecure Man. Oh! All right, so it's Insecure Man trying to solve the worldwide crisis of no cream cheese. Take it away. My goodness, I just heard on the internet that there's no more cream cheese in the world. I really like cream cheese, but I don't hello. know. Hello! Whoa! Hello! Gotta do a hairdo, girl. What's going on, man? There's no more cream cheese in oh. the world. Oh, no, but no. I, I'm I don't, all cream cheese diet. Yeah, but I don't know. Really? Yeah. I don't know if that's really good for you. I need or... I need a help. I heard you need some help. Hi, Captain Sneezes a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stand away from here. Sorry, Captain Sneezes a lot. There's no more cream cheese. No more cream I cheese. Know. I know. I know. Excuse me. Oh but my I don't God. feel really good about that. Oh. Well, I love cream cheese on my <laughs> Bagels. I don't, I don't even I know, know if I'm going to be able to help with this. Did oh, someone say cream cheese? Oh, it's my favorite superhero. It's girl who collects butterflies that I'm allergic to. <laughs> oh, get oh. away. Get away. I don't. Guys, I got a butterfly. Oh, oh I read butterflies can cool. make cream cheese. Let's they can. Come yeah. on, butterfly. Cream girl. cheese comes from butterflies. Come on, butterfly. Regurgitated. <laughs> I, see. <laughs> I yeah. think we need a cow. Yeah. A cow? To Here, make you guys can <laughs> deal with all these butterflies. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's too many I gotta, I, I, I gotta go take... I don't know. I gotta go take... Do you really have to do your hair so close to me? I, Am I ready to go out? Well, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Woo! Um, I'm gone. I don't know if we found a, any cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> nice ending. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we even look. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good job, everybody. Give him another round of applause. That was really good. <laughs> I think they're like so oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let us pull another pretty card out of this pretty hat and get another pretty scene for our pretty players. <laughs> Party! I see what you did. Now there. you know why I'm behind the desk and not up there. <laughs> All right, this is Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. <laughs> and what we're going to do here is we're going to enact out a scene like the Mission Impossible TV show of years past. And why don't we have uh, Lauren, why don't you do the, the first voice of the tape. You can kind of stand uh, off to the right there, a little bit further to the right. Oh, there right. we go. Perfect. And uh, Kenton and Victor, why don't you both act out this first scene? And uh, normally, this would be a good, good opportunity for a sort of mundane task to be suggested here for them to accomplish here. Changing the kitty litter. What was that? Changing engine oil. I like the kitty litter better. Changing, uh, changing the kitty litter. Uh, mm -hmm. I happen to know they're both cat lovers, so that won't be much of a stretch for them. But this is the Mission Impossible episode. 
Actually, hold it. Wait a minute. There's the music. All right. This is Mission Impossible, changing the cat litter. Take it away. I wonder if we're going to get any assignment today. Well, we have to put the tape in the machine to find out, I suppose. Oh, you have the tape? Well, I didn't know it's Right you had there. The Are you ready? I'm ready. Listen. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, this is your mission, if you are ready to accept it. Are you ready to accept yeah, it? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Don't talk to the tape recorder. You don't talk to the tape recorder? She's Stop so messing around. This is a professional job. Act professional. Now, your job, should you choose to accept it, is to retrieve the kitty litter from the daycare where the rugrats live. Now, rugrats are very difficult because they bite your shins continually. Are you up for the job? I don't think we want to. I don't know. Hey! I don't know. Oh, right, yeah, we'll yeah, do yeah, it. yeah, we're up for it. We're up for it. <laughs> Okay, this will explode in. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, here's what we gotta do. Yeah. First, we gotta locate the daycare center. Right. Okay. And then the kitty litter. The kitty litter. Okay. All right, but when we find the kitty litter, we're going to need something like a, a filter or something to keep okay. the dust from spreading all over well, the I place. Well, I just happen to have this super scooper. Oh, I like that. All right. That'd be good for Mike Tiger. Right. You take the super scooper. And I'll go to the map, the computer, and locate the daycare center. Okay. Ready? What do I do while you're looking at the map? Uh, just start walking. Okay. Yeah, and I'll call you on, on your walkie-talkie and let you know which way to go. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. All right. Go left. To your right. <laughs> left. Left again. Right. One more right. All right. Left. Le right. 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 Right? What are you doing here? <laughs> this is where you told me to go. All right, come on. All right, this is the daycare center. Okay. Right, let's get in there. Wow, we were all here right. all along. I'll just, <laughs> I'll distract the rugrats. All right, you get the litter. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. All right. Hey, little rugrats, how you doing, little pains in the butt, you? Get him, hey, don't you bite me. Oh, I know I'm not supposed to hit you. I'm sorry, ow, you little, Hey, you got that litter yet? These rugrats are getting it is out of control. It's almost done. I'm almost done. There. All it's right. closed. I've got All it. Right. Goodbye, rugrats. You can go now. Um, right. Look. Oh my Mickey God. Mickey Mouse. The teacher's coming. She's gonna see us. Oh no. Here. Put on. Ow! Never beat me. Hey, it's an extra rugrat. Hey, rugrat. There's your mommy. She's got candy. Yeah, go. Goes. All right. All right. Here. I have a. This thing is heavy, you know. Let's get rid of this. All right. Well, I'll help you. All right. Now, let's get out. What we got to do is hide behind our shield of. Wait. Yeah. We got to go back the way we came, right? I think so. So I think it was this way. It was this way. And, and then, then left. right. And I think well, it's we went backwards. Right. And then left. Go and then left. left. And right. then right. All right. This oh my is, God! I lost. This I'm is lost. really. You know we're spilling the kitty litter. Well, Come on. I, let's I, just take a shortcut. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Oh, now. What are we gonna do with this? I don't know. Do you do have you a know? cat? No. Neither. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> and with no comic left behind. Victor's gonna be the voice of the tape. Right. And Lauren and Sally Ann will act out the next scene <laughs> of Mission Impossible. I'm walking uh, around the neighborhood. Kenton, uh, Kenton catches his breath there. <laughs> And uh, let's see, how about a new mission? What's the new mission for Lauren and Sally Ann? Painting a house. Painting a house. Very mundane, very tedious, and only Mr. Miyagi seems to know the correct way to do it. So, all right, you guys ready? Painting the house. <laughs> Are you ready for our new mission? I sure am. Woohoo! Open the, play the tape. Good morning, agents. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is it stuck? I don't know. Okay. Your mission, oh, if you go. choose to accept it, is to paint a house. Now, this is a dangerous mission, and you must always remember that if any of you are lost or shot or stolen or maimed or kidnapped, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your existence. That bastard. <laughs> She is not. Uh, <laughs> All right. Watch your language. If you choose to accept this mission, it must get underway immediately because this tape is going to explode. What? <laughs> Oops. I forgot about that one. Should have warned you, honey. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just glass, dust, particles. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay, so we have to paint a house. 
We have no paint. We have no house. We have neither of those things. Come on, smart Sally, what do we do? We should buy paint. Okay, do you got any money? Because I don't. Let's go steal the paint. Good idea. There we go. There we go. Okay. 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 So let's go undercover. Okay. Okay. What color do we want to paint it? Uh, rainbow. Yes. Okay. You get the bottom of the rainbow colors. I'll get the top. Okay. So I get like purple, blue, and green. Here's the here's the store. Oh, I got the blue. You got yours. You got yours. Yes, I got mine. We're busted. Run! Run! Run, Sally, run! Where are we going? <laughs> okay, okay, we escaped that. Let's find uh, a house. Which house are we going to paint? Well, we don't have any brushes. Well, of course we don't. We'll use our hands. Okay, yeah. here's the house. Okay. All right. So, You're the bottom of the rainbow, I'm the top of the rainbow. Yes, okay. Shake it. Sally, that's not a rainbow, honey. Of course it Come is. Come on, look at this. This is not a rainbow. That's a rainbow. Hey! We're painting Let's a house. See. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. All All right, let's grab another game. See what happens next. It's foreign film dub, everybody. Woo! Foreign film dub. All right, so the way that this game is played is why don't we have Kenton and Victor come down and they will be acting out a film in a foreign language that will be translated by Lauren and Sally Ann. Lauren will be translating for Kenton and Sally Ann will be translating for Victor. So we need a couple of things from our attentive and alert studio audience. First of all, we need a foreign language that they will be speaking in. French. French. All right, it's the French film that is named what, studio audience? Changing Granny's bedpan. <laughs> okay, how about a better suggestion? <laughs> What's that? Lost in the Catacombs. Lost in the Catacombs. The new French blockbuster, translated by Lauren and Sally Ann. Take it away. Where the heck are we? Chacuse de Rombon. Catacomb. Catacomb. What the heck is a catacomb? Je te rends la catacomb. Tu captes tes chiffres à fond, tu captes tes enfants, tu sais de là, tu es trop rat, tu es là, tu es trop rat. Et tu captes pas ça de Tower Paris. So we're supposed to find. Oui. Oh, you know the catacombs with all the skulls in it. I remember that. That's like under the Paris, right? And there's like a whole bunch of people that died down there. J'attends. Yes, you are finally correct, oh stupid one. <laughs> We're gonna lick one of the skulls, right? Gross, you roast the skulls, dummy. <laughs> Let's just get down there already. Don't we? Let's just sit there. You lead the way, dummy. Cool, huh? No. Ah. Ha ha ha. Just this, huh? The cat. It's dangerous. Stupidity before intelligence. Go. <laughs> All right, why don't we do a second round of that and switch it up. Let's have Lauren and Sally Ann act out. And Kenton, you will be translating for Lauren. And Victor, you will be translating for Kenton. No, for Sally Ann. Me. And what is the foreign language this time? Russian. Russian. All right, it's Russian. And what, what uh, is the name of the Russian blockbuster that we are going to be witnessing? Look up for water. What? Score another one for the audience. <laughs> the audience is <laughs> almost Putin on the players today. Putin on the Ritz. So this is Putin on the Ritz. Let's see what let's see what the 13-year-old can do with that one. And take it away. 
Babushka dolls. What are we doing? Da. We're going to go find Putin and make sure that he's not sitting on my box of Ritz crackers. <laughs> babushka, babushka dolls. Well, Putin loves dolls and he loves his Ritz crackers. You're right. This is very important. A, a doll's not as curvy as a Ritz cracker. Now I have to speak another language because my Russian is very bad. Do you know Chinese? No. I'm, no. Glad, I'm glad your Manchurian is so good because Chinese is like a second language to me. You speak nonsense. So do you. <laughs> what did you say to me? I can't work with this. If you're not going to be on my team, then I'm out of here. Babushka dolls. Like I said in the first place, Putin doesn't know how to dance. <laughs> we'll teach him, and then we'll catch him. And see. Thank you, players, for that excellent rendition of some film I never, ever wanted to see. All right, let's draw another game out of the hat. Oh, ho, ho, you know what time it is. It's two restaurants time. Let's get set up oh, for two restaurants. Oh, my. I love this one. How fun. And we need a, we also actually need a, a fifth player for two restaurants. So how about the guy with uh, all the laughs in the audience, Connor McCarthy? Why don't you come up here and, and be our... Be our waiter here. Okay, so the way that two restaurants <coughs> works is we have a restaurant on the left, a restaurant on the right, and a strange common thread would be a waiter that somehow manages to be in two places at once. Ooh. 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 Wow. They'll be better after lunch. <laughs> All right, so the restaurant that contains Victor and Lauren, let us give them a relationship. Why would they be at this restaurant today? They're getting divorced. Any particular reason, something we could add on to that, perhaps? Oh, we can come up with a lot of things. He doesn't do the dishes, all right? That would be a, that would be a terrible, terrible thing. All right, Kenton and Sally Ann, what is going on over here? Sally is taking over the company. All right, let's, you know what? That's all you guys get. You can you can figure it out with your superior acting abilities. So oh, so we couldn't figure ours out. No, you couldn't. <laughs> right. Sorry to break it to you, Victor. We're spoon fed. Here, your script is back here behind. Spoon fed. Okay, and how about Mr. Connor McCarthy over there? What is his uh, uh, quirk or something we can add to his waiter character? He's constantly charged with static electricity. He's constantly charged with static electricity. What's new? It's a shocking experience. What's new? Shocking. Okay, so let's take it away. Why don't we start with Kenton and Sally Ann. When we hear this, we will switch back and forth between the two restaurants and hopefully comic hilarity will ensue. Well, you were very aggressive in the meeting this afternoon. It oh, seemed like you had uh, better numbers even than Chuck had. Yes, of course. Where did you get those numbers from? The keypad. I, I you get your uh, your order. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, What's happening? I, Ow. I'll just have sorry, a water, sorry. please. Okay, okay. Water in you? Um, no, water's fine. Okay. Ow! <laughs> Goodness gracious. So listen. First of all, I don't think we need to be sitting this close together. <laughs> okay. Good enough? All right, I'm just telling Good you. Good enough, honey. You know, honey. Oh, honey. Honey. Yeah, we can drop all of those cutesy little nicknames and all that stuff now. I mean, 
It's going it wasn't it's said cutesy. Happen. It was said sarcastic, actually. Well, Did you not pick up on you're that? You're the one who said you wanted me You don't out. listen to me. I listen to you See, so you didn't even time. listen to I'm that. Heavily to laced right with now. sarcasm. I'm to everything you're saying ah, right now. Oh, what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, ay, drinks, ay, ay. Drinks. Water, yeah. maybe. I would like a water with lemon and lime. And then if you could go up to the bar and put a shot of vodka in there, that would help. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Jeez. Hey, what about me, buddy? <laughs> what Nobody kind of listens was that? to me. Well, I'm also wondering why you put in a transfer to the main office. My mom did that. She's You're the one who owns the company, so. Oh, a little bit of nepotism. I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, it's too bad you don't stay here because you make a very good assistant mail clerk. You know what? I can be the mail clerk. I think Someday, I, I think I got get this older. down. Thank you. Ah! Oh boy. Oh, okay. Jeez. okay. Not in that restaurant. <laughs> All right. Ow! My water is like sizzling. I don't want to touch that. So, you want to be head mail clerk? Yes. And that's why you're transferring to the main office where your mom works. Are you mocking me? No, I just think you have order up. An alternate agenda. Nice. Ugh. All right. Well, so, I heard that you do Sally Johnson's dishes, but you don't do my dishes. That's I heard that you really like her spoons. Well, spoons are my speciality. You don't do them here. Well, listen, maybe, maybe we can work something out. What if I did your forks? You need, you know? you need a fork? Ah! ah, sorry. Can I just ask, is my hair standing on end? It is. Like you I don't have hair, hair, honey. Your eyebrows are standing on end. Well, not this hair, but. The stubble is standing on end. My okay. hair is standing okay. on end. Okay. All right. No, is, no, butter sauce. We can't come to some she sort says, of agreement, some sort of compromise. You stop doing Sally's dishes, period. See, you can't do it. But that's Ooh, my right. job, and I'm not going to let you have it. I have a mommy, too, and I'm going to have my mommy call your mommy. <laughs> well, my mommy is head of the school board, so. Oh, Nanita, head of the school board. This well, my to... mommy is head of, of delivery. <laughs> well, you know what? You can be head of delivery then. I can? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Order up. All right, listen. What? I'm sorry. Ah! I promise, I'll, I'll stop doing Sally Johnson spoons. Yeah. I, I, I won't even touch her cups. Okay? Just let's let's call this whole divorce thing off and, and I'll do yours. You. You Whoa, up. hey. Hey, you you're know, the guy who did my spoon. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want a martini. Shaken, not stirred. You mean those were your yeah. spoons? I yeah. didn't do you a did spoon here. I didn't What's do a spoon here. No, you, I didn't. You didn't tell what? me you did somebody you else's spoons, man. Now? Order up. So I guess you can be head of delivery. Okay. And I can be the head of the like mail office or whatever they call it. I don't know. Can I get six weeks off? Why would you want six weeks off? So I don't have to be ar around you. And see. <laughs> Good. And I would like to thank our sponsors for today's episode of Scenes from a Hat. Thank you to gottagetatshirt.com for all of your t-shirt and apparel needs. And Princess Cheesecake for supplying our lunch today with some tasty treats. Thank you so much, sponsors. Thank you. Thank you. Cheese That's all the time we have here on Scenes from a Hat. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate your support. Check us out on YouTube and Patreon. I'm Nathan. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Woo-hoo! -bye.